So, Yumi's little sister Mizuki runs that bar Ares. It's a good bet they're in this together. And Haruka is her daughter. Even after Yumi went missing, she'd go visit the girl from time to time. Uh-huh. Sorry to bother you, Kazuma. Can you get that? Oh, and be polite. Hello, Serena. Um, Anaki. Is that you? Shinji? I'm glad I got a hold of you. I've been trying so hard to reach you. Sorry. So, what's going on? Actually, right now, I'm on the run with Fuma Oyabun. What? After he was shot, I took him to the hospital. But he's still unconscious. Anaki, from what I can figure out, it looks like the Tojo clan put the hit on Oyabun. If they find out where he is, they'll definitely try again. Where are you right now? I've still got men setting up a safe house for us. I'll get back to you once we're safe. Contact you at Serena? Nah, I gotta sell.
fuck out of here. We don't need no Yakuza. You deaf? Fuck off! Aren't public restrooms open to everyone? Motherfucker! Yes? Yes? That's correct. I understand. Okay, let him through. This way. Follow me, Kazuma-san. So, you know my name already. Welcome to Purgatory, Kazuma-san.
Kazuma Kiryu. You don't waste any time. Right out of the pen and straight into a ruckus. I take it you're Kage. What do you want to know? I want details on the 10 billion yen stolen from the Tojo clan, and also on two sisters, Yumi and Mizuki. Some cash might help jog my memory. How much is it gonna take? <laughs> that kind of information costs. I have men set up everywhere. The color of the hostess's panties. Shady deals. Unsolved murders. Eventually it all gets back to me. I piece it together like a grimy jigsaw puzzle, then provide the precise details requested by my clients. That's why the information I provide is so expensive, get it? I don't have the money now, but I don't have any time either. Oh, I know. Hey. Wait. Ten years ago, the name Dragon of Dojima was very formidable. I hate the fucking Yakuza to death. Still, informants tend to be warriors. It's our fucking hobby. So I'm really intrigued to see how you're gonna try to fuck the entire Tojo clan. So you're... Still, I am a businessman, so I can't set a bad example by just giving you information. I try to be fair, see? So? I got work for you. Work that only the Dragon of Dojima could do. An underground ring. Exactly. Our customers are rich bastards with too much money, and freaks who get off on blood and violence. The fighters can either kill or be killed. So this is... purgatory? And death's door is just around the corner. So what is this work that only I can do? You have to win three matches in a row. If you can do that, then you will have earned your information, Kazuma. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest today. Ten years ago, this man, known as the Dragon of Dojima, killed his own boss in cold blood. He's an honorless Yakuza straight out of prison. Kazuma Kiryu! 
And in the other corner with two wins, a fugitive from the United States. He's wanted for first degree murder, Daniel Feldman. As always, there is no time limit and no rules. The winner is Kazuma Kiryu! Proving that he is indeed a true gangster. And now, for the next match, the ex-middleweight world champion of Muay Thai, Taekwon Plavuk! Can Kazuma Kiryu defeat an entirely different fighting style? You can cut the tension in here with a knife. Now, fight!
unbelievable! Our special guest cannot be stopped! Well, here we go! It seems that the next challenger has just been decided! We have a special surprise! Our champion has returned! For the past three years, this true warrior has been undefeated! Coming to you from the underground fighting pits of Las Vegas, Gary Buster Holmes! So, we meet again. Bet you wasn't expecting me, Cosmosan. You gonna squeal like a bitch, motherfucker. Let me ask you something. Do you even listen to yourself when you open your mouth? Undefeated gangster versus undefeated pit fighter! This is the fight of the century! Now, fight! Buster Holmes, standing before me is the new champion. Now for your part of the deal. Relax. I'm a man of my word. I told you I play fair. Yeah, what? Oh, I see. 
You have a visitor. Visitor? Let's check it out. Hold on. What? What the? What is this? I can imagine your surprise. This is the real purgatory. Five years ago, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department installed 50 surveillance cameras in Kamarocho. Supposedly used for counter-terrorist purposes, but they haven't been working for them. Anyways, I've been watching everything that goes on in this town with my 10,000 cameras. Hey, show us the visitor. Yes, sir. Date? Is that blood? What happened to him? Let's retrace his steps, shall we? Threw up all the footage we took of this guy. Date. Looks like his life finally went to shit. You know Date? Boss, this was ten minutes ago. <clears throat> Shit! Boss, we've got trouble. What is it? I'm switching to the live feed. Kazuma. Date is in trouble.
Hey! Detective! I'm sorry. Haruka's been... I know. Hey! He's a fucking pig! Yeah, kill him! That fucking pig! He's the one that busted my ass! That's enough. Fuck that! I'm gonna beat this piece of shit cop to death! Fuck off, you bastard! Burn roast pig tonight, boys! Kill his ass! Yeah! Put him out of his misery! I suggest you listen to me. I suggest you blow me! Why the fuck would we listen to you? <laughs> What's your problem? What are you gonna do about it? Kazuma, stop. You all wanna kill him so bad? You won't mind coming through me first. Don't run like a little bitch! You're very strong. It's you. Kage from Purgatory. It's been a long time, Detective Date. Kazuma, the car that was carrying the girl stopped at the batting cage. Don't worry. I'll put this info on your tab. Thanks. You know he's an ex-cop. He was selling confidential information on the black market. I was the one who busted him. He disappeared after that. Can't say I'm surprised to find him here. Kazuma. The Majima family. They took Haruka. Majima family? Of all the people, Majima. <sighs>
fucking fool, huh?
be walking around this place like a holy shit. <laughs> Long time no see, Kazuma-chan. Ah, delightful to see you. It just fills me up with joy. Face to face with the dragon of Dojima. We can cross swords and have a real fight, right? Kazuma-chan, you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> this is the part where you're supposed to laugh! Ah, you stupid motherfucker! Cut it out. Huh? Where's Haruka? Uh, uh, oh. Whatever. Go ahead. She's in that room there. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? Kazuma-chan. All I want to do is fight you, that's all. You can't be serious. But I am. I'm always deadly serious. Come on! <laughs> Let's do this. You think you can take me, Kazuma-chan? Get ready. To get fucked up!
<laughs> like always, you're tough as nails. I knew you were, Kazuma-chan, but I'm not finished yet. It's over. Give me Haruka back. Fucking idiot! What? Die, Kazuma! <laughs> no! Oh, you boon! Why? Kazuma is my friend. You stupid fuck. Only I get the privilege of killing him. Majima. Oh yeah, boy. Oh no. Hey, call the ambulance. Hurry up. Yes, sir. I am. Mister. Haruka. I was scared. So scared. Sorry I'm late. I apologize, Haruka. I wasn't able to protect you like I should have. Must have been terrifying. It was. They tied me up and I was locked in a dark room. But all of a sudden I started to hear people fighting outside. Then someone untied me and told me to run. Someone? Who was it? I don't know. When I thanked him, he asked me if I had the pendant. The pendant? This one. Aunt Yumi gave it to me. Where's my mommy? Why won't she come see me? I'm sorry. No, I... I want to see my mommy. Please, Aunt Yumi. Please let me see my mommy. Please, please. Haruka, listen. What? I brought you something. This is the pendant your mother wore. Mommy's? That's right. She wanted me to give it to you, and to tell you to keep it always, okay? Okay. It's very precious to her, so I don't want you to tell anyone about it. It's your very own precious little lucky charm. So, that pendant, he was trying to get it, huh? No. He told me to take good care of it. And that it's worth 10 billion yen. Let me see that. It's locked. We have to break it open. No! No, don't! <laughs> Just kidding. Haruka, the man that helped you, do you remember what he looked like? I don't know. It was really dark. But the man told me to tell Mr. Kazuma about the pendant. He said my name? Yeah. I wonder who the hell it is. I have no idea. One thing's for sure. We seem to be at the center of this shitstorm that's been kicked up recently.